Bobcat Weekly is brought to you by Rocky Boots. Welcome to another edition of Bobcat Weekly and welcome to another look outside of our window just outside the Convocation Center here. We look back to the ridges now and it gets a little spooky as we approach Halloween that coming up in over a week's time. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Cats, and we start off this weekly with a look at football. Ohio is really in a groove now. Mid-season groove. They won three in a row. They're three and one in the league. Another strong one over Akron on Saturday. 38-10 was the final. Ohio has won three in a row. They're scoring points now. The three-game total is higher than a three-game total past 2007. You recall in 07, there was a really good stretch of points there. Ohio has put up a bunch of points in this winning streak over Akron, Bowling Green, and Eastern Michigan. Honors are bestowed upon the Cats, too, and for the second consecutive week, Ohio's quarterback has a MAC Offensive Player of the Week award. Boo Jackson takes it home this time after Phil Bates did last week. Boo was solid in the ballgame. He had two rushing touchdowns and the record-setting pass to Terrence McRae in the south end zone. Frank Solich is impressed. You know, that shows um, that we've got two guys that are capable of making big plays. Um, we got two guys that can come in at any time and um, virtually take over our offense and, and to a degree be able to give us the opportunity to, uh, to continue to move the ball, put points on the, on the board. That combination has been extremely big for us. What was also impressive about Boo's performance was he caught a pass, too, from Phil Bates. So that connection continues to grow here in the midseason. Also for Ohio, the pick machine continues to roll. And how about this? Donovan Fletcher, the senior from Youngstown, is the leader in the nation in Division 1A football in INTs. He has five. He had another one on Saturday. And that certainly is impressive for this program. You're generally not just in the, the right uh spot at the right time without great preparation. That means with, without uh, zeroing in and being truly focused uh, on every practice, watching film, knowing uh, you, your coverages in, inside and out, knowing the opponent. And I think Don, Donovan's on top of that uh, entirely. And so um, he finds himself in the right spot at the right time. So now it's Miami week and the Red Hawks are playing very well. Miami is perfect in the conference. They're also four and three overall should be fun in Oxford on their homecoming on Saturday. We'll talk about that coming up in the Bobcat calendar. Bobcat volleyball is five and three in Mid-American Conference play. Ohio split over the weekend, losing in five at a very good Ball State team and then winning in four over Toledo on Saturday. The turnaround and the win over the Rockets was impressive to assistant head coach Megan Keck. The Toledo match, I, I really think, was uh, a lot of fun. It was exciting for us to, to see such a fast turnaround and for us to, to be successful and, pl and play low error, which was kind of what we've been, been pushing and working hard for the last uh, couple weeks, is, is to continue to improve our error game. And, and I thought that we finally did that. And it was, it was fun to see, and it was a fun environment to play in with their, their dig pink match. And, it was a, 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 good, a good match and, and hopefully a turning point for us. So now the volleyball cats come back home for a very important weekend against the Mac West. We'll take on Northern Illinois and Western Michigan, two teams that are near the top of that division playing very well. It will be important to have a very loud vocal home crowd this weekend at the Convo. How about Bobcat soccer? You can't say much more about their defense. And this past weekend, the D was in full effect, but unfortunately, the Cats didn't get a win out of the deal. They lost 1-0 in overtime against Miami and Oxford in the first match of the weekend, and then they battled through two OTs and a scoreless draw against Bowling Green in the finale of the weekend. The Cats in conference play now are 2-3-3, two, three, and, three, and overall, the club is 5-6-4. and four. Senior weekend coming up. Field hockey is now 9-8 and eight on the year and 5-2 and two in the league. They had a 3-1 winner at Ball State. Taylor Brown had two goals in that match, but then they lost 4-0 at Miami in the finale of the weekend. Now to the Bobcat calendar on Friday. Men's golf is in Orlando. Field hockey takes on Kent State. Soccer at Buffalo and then volleyball at home on Friday night against the Broncos of WMU. On Saturday, in addition to football at Miami, field hockey takes on the Chippewas and volleyball back at it against the Huskies of Northern Illinois. On Sunday, in addition to golf, soccer has its senior day. We hope to see you at Chesapeake Field. That'll do it for Bobcat Weekly. And boy, do we have a loaded Bobcat TV week for you this week in preparation of Ohio football and Miami and the Battle of the Bricks on Saturday at Yeager Stadium on Miami's homecoming in Oxford. 
Our pregame coverage on the radio network starts at noon on Saturday with the fastest hour of Mac radio and the kick comes at one. Should be a fun one between the Red Hawks and the Bobcats and a very important matchup in this Mac East Division race. That'll do it for the weekly. For Ashley Hartzell, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Stay tuned all the way through the week here to Bobcat TV.